With Cinelizer 4.4, it is now possible to track your previously recorded behavioral files. In this brief tutorial, we will show you how to use the free trial of CineDemo to test the tracking ability of Cinelizer with your behavioral videos. In this example, we will use object contour tracking to track previously recorded videos of a subject in the open field. We will define a zone that will allow us to measure both the distance traveled in the perimeter of the open field and the distance traveled in the center of the arena. This will be done by creating two events. The first event will be tracking when the animal is present in the zone, which will be the perimeter of the arena. The second event will be tracking when the animal is absent from the zone, which will be the center of the arena. Once you have opened the CineDemo software, you will need to create a new experiment. This is done by clicking the Add New Experiment button on the left. You can name your experiment and add descriptors or variables. Click OK. Next, you will need to select your previously recorded data file as the source file. In the Source tab, click the File Folder image. Select your data file. An image of your video will appear in the video window. Next, you can outline the arena for your video. Click the Scenes 1 tab and then click the Add Arena button. Choose the drawing tool best suited for your arena. For this example, the Draw Circle tool will be used to outline the arena. Once you have sized the circle appropriately, you can click and drag the arena to the correct location. Next, you can add zones to your arena. For this example, we will use the Draw Circle tool to draw one zone that will allow us to measure time in the perimeter of the open field as well as time in the center. To do this, click Add Static Zone to Current Arena button. You can change the color of the zone by clicking the colors that are currently selected. Next, click the Draw Circle tool and draw a circle that covers the entire arena. Next, click the Subtract Shapes button on the top of the window. Once you have selected Subtract Shapes, click the Draw Circle tool to draw a second circle. To see the areas that will be included in your zone, click the Fill button under Zone 1.1. This green shaded area will be what is included in Zone 1. Next, select your tracking method. When you select the Tracking 1 tab, you will receive a message that no tracking mode has been selected. Once you select a method, this tab will auto-populate with the available options. For this example, we will select Object Contour Tracking. To do this, click the mouse icon at the top left of the screen. You will need to adjust the default settings based on your video. For this mm -hmm. example, we want to track a light image on a dark background. In the Object versus Background drop-down menu, select Bright on Dark. You will notice that a red plus sign appears on the subject in the video. While selecting your tracking settings, uncheck Connect Points. To see the contour that will be tracked, click Contour and Fill Contour. In this example, this fills the contour with a bright yellow color. If you are unhappy with the contour, you can adjust the threshold to include more or less of your animal. Now that your zones and tracking parameters have been defined, you will need to add events for tracking. Click the Events 1 tab and click Add New Tracking Event. Select the zone you are interested in tracking. In this example, we only have one zone, so Zone 1.1 is selected. The default condition for tracking is present in zone. This event will track the time and distance in the perimeter of the open field. To avoid confusion, you can name your events by clicking the text to type in the name field. Next, we will add a second event that will track time and distance in the center of the open field. To do this, click Add New Tracking Event and select Zone 1.1. For this event, change the condition to Absent from Zone by clicking in the drop-down menu. This event will be named Center.
The tracking results will be displayed in the event statistics window on the bottom right. You can adjust this window to view the statistics you are interested in. Now you are ready to track your video. If you want to see the tracked path of the subject as the video plays, click the Tracking 1 tab and then click Connect Points. This will show the path traveled as a green line while the video plays. Next, click the Play button in the video window. Your video will start to play and the tracking will start showing on the video window. The event statistics will be displayed in the event statistics window. You will notice in this example that when the animal enters the center of the arena, the count changes from 0 to 1, and the time and track length are calculated. Once the animal leaves the center, the count for the perimeter increases to 2, and the time and track length for perimeter start to increase. Synalyzer can be used with many different behavioral paradigms and many video file types. Please contact info at if you would like more information on using Synalyzer for your behavioral studies.